Ever looked at your Stratocaster and the pit guard and just gone, nope. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Bit different today. Uh, I'm going to be taking this uh, Squire Fender Strat. Uh, this is from an old college mate of mine. Uh, he wants the hardware changed. So we'll be taking it from this mint green pit guard to this black scratch plate and uh, hardware that's on screen now because um, it will look a lot better especially with the gold I'm not sure why they put the mint green on um, it works but not really on this one to be honest with you so I'm going to show you how to strip one of these down and change all the furniture on it uh, and slack off each string So all the strings are slack and off the tuning pegs. All right, let's just get that tremolo arm out of the way. Right, the new strings are going back on this guitar, so just snipping each one to get him off. And this means that I can just take out the ball end of the string from the back of the tremolo unit which means you don't have to pull the entire string through the guitar body just like that right okay so strings are off so that means we can get access to everything uh, first thing we need is to remove these little bits of hardware furniture so switch tip should just ease off with a little bit of pressure don't yank it straight up or twist it because you'll break the tab on the switch and you can buy a really expensive tool for doing this but generally you just need something that will fit underneath the edge and we'll lift it slightly like a plectrum there we go Although that is not meant to happen. Stratocaster scratch plates come in several different versions and combinations of screws. So you need to make sure you've got the right one to go back on. So these screws around the edge are what we're going to take out. You need to make sure you've got the right one to go back on, otherwise it is not going to fit. So let's get these out. Now the black one going in is the correct one. But that's all the screws out. Now the scratch plate should just lift out. But you need to be careful because you're gonna have all this wiring attached. So you need to be gentle so that you don't accidentally pull anything off. So now we need to loosen the switch and the pots and take out the pickups. Pots are usually held down or held in rather with 11 millimeter nuts. So just got my little socket just to loosen it so I can get my fingers on it. Oh, that one isn't 11 millimeters, that one is. There we go. I tend not to use this thing so much because you've got more chance of scratching something or causing damage because it is just bare metal but if you're careful pickups as you slacken the screw the pickup is going to drop and that's not a problem because that's what it's designed to do but you need to undo it completely so that you can take it out of the scratch plate. Right, so let's see where we are. So gently, gently, just 
switch is out, pods are out. Be aware of the springs when you. Oh, and there we go. There's one. So that's what holds the pickup against the scratch plate and lets you adjust the height. So sometimes you might see some rubber tubing does exactly the same job. We need to take these covers off, and these should just lift off. Like so. Buy me a brew. <laughs> so this is the new scratch plate that's going on the guitar. And See, it's got some aluminium shielding uh, around where all the electrics are going to go. So, first thing I need to do is uh, make some holes so that the components can go where they need to go. Uh, I don't want to just push through and damage anything. So, I'm just going to grab a, a scalpel and we'll make a couple of holes. Uh, luckily, my mate realised that he's got a DiMarzio hot rail, so he needed to get the right kind of cover to fit it, so that's all good. the process. Yeah, there we go, that looks much better. Right. Yes, this is as fiddly as it looks, but a little bit of patience.
so puts her back on. Hey, Luna. Come to say hello. Hey, there you go. <laughs> you sit there. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I'm on the telly, and so are you. to absolutely monkey arm this stuff on it should just slide on with a little bit of tension that will hold it in place just making sure the tens line up which they do and our push push is okay Last thing, switch tip. Right, everything's back in where it should be. So the last thing I'm doing is I'm changing the tip on the tremolo arm from white to black. Um, anyway, it should with a Bit of gentle persuasion. Good. Slot back on. Well, that's how you change the furniture on a Stratocaster. Um, Next we'll be doing a setup, so stick around for that one in the next video. And we'll see you soon. Cheers.